Hey guys, um, this is your girl Ann Jeanette, and of course I promised tonight that I was gonna come on. This is for the CROs, the credit repair uh, companies that are starting out, and um, I wanted to show you guys something that I kind of um, got information on. It's HoneyBook, okay? <laughs> um, if you don't know about HoneyBook, it's like a total system um, where you can do your uh, customer profiles, um, you can have your calendar uh, appointments, um, your automations, um, it does everything in one. Um, the reason why I chose HoneyBook was because um, I can't afford to pay the uh, $179 a month right now because with everything else that's going on and everything that's going out um, in my business, right now my clientele is very small. And so until I build my clientele, I, ha I had to find a way where I can downsize and try to figure out ways to cut my costs so I can save money so I can stay in business. So I, uh, one of my, um, well, actually my website developer, um, told me about um, HoneyBook. She uses HoneyBook and she was telling me that she think that it will work for my business. She asked me, did I know anything about HoneyBook? Now, until up to that time, I never heard of HoneyBook. I didn't know anything about it. Um, I was skeptical about it and I was like, I never heard of it. So I told her that I was going to do some research and find out about it. So of course, you know me, I'm the research guru, and I always like to go to YouTube University. And that's what I did first. <laughs> I went to YouTube University um, and I started watching videos. Uh, I Google videos on HoneyBook. So when I started watching the tutorial, there was a tutorial and I started watching tutorials and I was like, hmm, this may work for my business for what I needed to do. Um, I think this will actually work for my business. So um, after I watched the videos, uh, she uh, granted me permission to go into her honey book and look it over. So when I went into her honey book and I started seeing the processes and everything, and then while I was in her honey book, I watched the tutorial and I started going through her um, um, pages and things like that, her processes. And I was like, you know what? This could really work now. For $9 a month, um, if you just sold providers just by yourself, $9 a month. Um, if you have other CROs that's working with you, if you have assistants or anybody that has to have access to your uh, database, then you have to get the $39 a month, which is, I mean, $39 a month compared to $179. Like I said, now, this may not work for all CROs. But for me, um, I needed to cut costs. I needed to find a way to cut costs. So the reason why I chose this one, um, because I, I thought that it could work. Now, mine is not just a credit repair agency by itself. I do uh, financial literacy or personal finance services. So I provide vision board workshops. I do workshops and webinars. So I do personal development workshops like vision board, um, financial literacy workshop, credit repair workshops. So what I did, um, I tied my credit repair into, I made it into two packages and I made those two packages as a service-based package. So I'm going to go in and show you what I did and how I made HoneyBook work for me as a CRO um, and how it's streamlined. Now, I didn't have a problem for so it's payment or anything like that. Um, I sent my information with you. And the coolest thing is once you set your um, account up, you can upload your agreements, your uh, proposals, I mean, your agreements, your um, um, flyers, um, your brochures, you can upload all of that to them and they will set up, go in and set up your agreements, um, your, um, your flyers, they'll go in and put all of that in there for you. 
which was really cool because I didn't even have to worry about that part. I didn't even have to worry about uh, setting up my database uh, because they did that for me. Also, the price instructor, when you go in and set up um, your pricing packages, they call them packages. So when you go in and set up your pricing packages, if you already have it all typed out, all you have to do is just upload it to them and they'll go in and set everything up. And then um, if there's any changes, you just reach back out to them and tell them how you want it and they'll make the changes for you, which is saved me a lot of time, right? So it took me about three days to set all of this up where I had to actually sit down, um, transfer all of my data from CRC to HoneyBook. And then I had to go in and upload all my clients from CRC to HoneyBook. And then I saved my uh, previous agreements from CRC. I saved those in a file uh, in the clients. I made client file on my desktop desktop and I saved those uh, on my desktop. So that way I could actually have the original agreements and things like that. So I'm going to take you guys into HoneyBook and I'm going to show you what I did and how I made HoneyBook work for me as a CRO credit repair operator. Let me show you. So I'm going to share my screen right now. Uh, so I'm going to go into HoneyBook. Now, this is the actual, when you first log into HoneyBook, and of course you gotta create a uh, account. Once you create an account, there's gonna be a list of steps that's gonna be right over here. And all you have to do is just follow the steps. And they have some really great uh, tutorial videos that you can watch to kind of guide you through it. Uh, but I know for you guys, this kind of look, you know, like, okay, what in the world is all of this? But let me show you, it, it really works. Um, so again, this may not work for all credit repair agencies. I don't know what type of processes that you have, but it's definitely worked for me. And for $9, I made it work, okay? Um, the only problem that I, I had was, and which was not a problem, I couldn't uh, transfer the credit uh, reporting data from um, Smart Credit, because that's what I use. So I couldn't import the uh, credit scores and things like that uh, over to um, HoneyBook. But what, what I chose to do was, uh, Desiree Chin has a, a sheet that you can use, and all you do is copy, cut and copy uh, the credit uh, information. Um, the credit scores and things like that. And then you send out a monthly uh, letter with your, when you do your 30 day follow up, uh, you can send out that letter with them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the client log into credit, uh, log into their smart credit the same time that I do. And I'm going to go over that because smart credit keep up with all of that anyway. So there was no need for CRC because if you log into smart credit, Smart Credit just keeps up. Um, it, it, it has everything that your CRC has, okay? So I didn't need CRC, uh, actually. So I wanted to, and I mean, like I said, this was $9 to do this, $9. And again, um, if you are working alone, you can use the $9 one. Um, if you need, uh, like a, if you have a virtual assistant or if you have an assistant working with you or somebody that you need to grant access to your portal, you will have to go with the $35. So when you first get in, um, mm -hmm. I'll say I'll go to tools and these are your templates. Um, these are your, all the templates that you have like invoices, you can create your own invoices here. And this is mine, this is my invoice template that I created. And this is what I can send and invoice clients on, um, like when I need to charge them something. So this is my coaching sessions, my monthly sessions, um, my uh, lectures, group sessions. Um, and then you can change the schedule, uh, which is great. You can change it from like if you want to charge a deposit. So you could put like a $100 deposit right here. 
and that could be a, a custom amount and you could put a hundred dollars you can add a hundred dollars deposit right there and then or whatever yours is if they pay 250 dollars up front and then they pay so much a month so you will put all of that in here i mean it's just amazing and then you you build your monthly payments um like i said just watch the tutorial and it'll show you so you can build your client from there. I mean, guys, this is so amazing. Um, and I thought it was really cool. And I built this, um, I created this in Canva, and then I saved it and uploaded it um, to my portal. So I'm going to go to, let's go back and see, you see my templates. And then um, let me go back to and right here where the arrow is this is what takes you out of it so then you get out of it these are my contracts um these are my agreements so um like i said with my credit repair i made mine a service-based credit repair so what i did i offered like a nine-month basic premium financial game plan um agreement uh, like a financial game plan um and what i did was and this is the basic and premium and this is my plan so what they do is i offer the credit repair free as part of the nine month financial game plan and with that nine month financial game plan is it includes vision board um they create a vision board um i help them create a budget um i help them create a financial file folder which means that uh, a file folder system, which means that they build a file folder system to put their important papers in. Um, so I take them through the training of being uh, financial, uh, financially literate. So I made it a service and offered the credit repair for free. And so they get this, uh, we go through a nine month plan, which means over the course of nine months, they build a financial game plan, which includes the credit repair. And as you offering it as a service, you don't have to go through uh, trying to find a payment system that would take a uh, credit repair because you're offering it as a free service, but you're offering it, offering everything else and the, and the credit repair is included in that umbrella, okay? And so you don't have to worry about um, getting, um, um, what do they call it, bonding? You don't have to worry about getting bonding or special uh, regulations because you are offering it free inside of the package. And so um, you don't have to worry about all of that. And that's a way to get over the hump where, uh, some of you are struggling to pay for the regulations, bonding, and things like that. This is a great way to offer credit repair without having to, to jump through hoops and then having to try to find a payment system um, that will take uh, CROs, okay? So mine is, um, is a financial um, literacy system, and, and I offer services. So in credit repair, it's just not credit repair. I offer uh, other services besides credit repair. So this is my agreement, which is, um, and they built this for me. All I did was send a PDF form of my agreement and what I wanted to say, and, um, and they built it for me. So when you go in, this is my agreement. It has the client's information. And this right here, automatically, when you build, uh, create your client um, in the system, it'll automatically, when you get ready to send that client um, this agreement, it'll automatically put their information right. Here. I mean, it, it'll, it's pre-built, so it'll put their information when you pull, when you add that client to this. And they built all of this for me. I didn't have to do none of this myself. All I did was uploaded the agreement and they uh, built it all for me. Because I would have never uh, been able to do this. And again, you go back out, all you have to do is just hit the arrow, back arrow. So this is all my contracts, my nine month uh, premium basic plan, 
my coaching agreements because I offer coaching, um, the cancellation of amendments, uh, reschedule amendments, uh, protection clause, general contract, independent contract. So guys, look, these is where you will put your uh, client agreements um, and you, they're templates. So they're built to where whenever you add a client, you can send them all that information, proposals. This is where um, these are what they call proposals is what you, let me show you. So this is your payment plan. Um, and, and I already set mine up. So all I have to do is when I add a new client, I add the proposal to them and it'll automatically send them an e email. So it's, it's automated. Everything is autom automated. Now you do have a choice. You don't have to set it to automate it. You can set it to where uh, you can look at it first before it sends. So it, it'll remind you and say, okay, uh, engineer has a proposal ready. Uh, you must approve to send. So um, like this one is already pre-built. So this is my nine month basic plan um, and so there you can go in and change the price if you want here. You can change it to whatever. Um, this is the total. I give them a discount because this is the fall special. So they get like a 30% discount. So I, I give them a take a discount off and you can add discounts. And then so that's the total. And then you build the monthly here. So they pay a hundred dollar deposit. And then they pay $69 a month for nine months. And that's the way I got it. So the first deposit is due on the day that they sign the contract. And then the next month, starting the next month, they pay monthly until for nine months. And you can build it like that. Okay. So it's the same thing. And I didn't even, and, and look, guys, look, I meant to tell you. So it has the agreement attached to that. So when you send, this um, proposal, it has the pricing structure, and then it has the agreement to where they all they do. And like I said, this is pre-built. So before it sends, it's going to plug all of this in for the client, okay? And it has the date, um, the agreement, and then you put the pricing structure. And this is a template. So you don't have to keep adding this every time all you do is just add the client let me move this so you can see it so when you click use template um this is all your information there so when you click use template for the agreement and the proposal and it's going to ask you a new project so you can create the project they say put it as the client's name. So I'm going to say Joe Blow. We all know Joe Blow. Right? <laughs> so I'm going to say Joe Blow. And then I'm going to say nine month basic. Okay. Because that's the plan that I have, the nine month basic plan. So that way I'll know that Joe Blow got the nine month basic plan. So we're going to add a new project because he's a new client and then we're going to create a profile. So now it's ready to send um, to Joe Blow. So now we've added this and it has the pricing structure. It has the agreement uh, and it tells you here, you have three highlighted fields that must be uh, must be filled before you send it. And this right here, when you select, it says add, add recipient. When you add the recipient, it's gonna put the information. So here, we're just gonna put the client address. You're gonna put the client um, last for the social and then the date of birth. And you know, with, with CRC, this is all you need right here. You need the client um, full name, the address, the last four of the social, and the date of birth. Okay. And that's all you're using. And then the price instructor, the agreement, um, the price instructor you have. I mean, it basically works.
So you can either send a test and see, you can even add your signature right here. You can add a participant in or out of HoneyBook to share files. And this is where, uh, right here, where you can add a participant. This means like if you want to send it to a VA or somebody that's processing your um, information, like we do in CRC, you just put their information there and then you add that participant. So that way they get, um, when you send this off, they're going to get a copy of this when it's signed. So when it's signed, they're going to get a copy of this um, when they send it back. It's going to send back to whoever your VA is or whoever you shared this file with. It's going to go back to them. So they'll have a copy and then you'll get a copy. Okay. I mean, it's amazing. So you're going to go to add recipient. And of course, uh, we got to put the address. I'm just going to put a crazy address here. Uh, One, 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 three. And we're going to say save field. And then the last four of the social field value, 0415, save field. And then the date of birth, we're going to say 02255, oh, uh, 1970. Oh, 02255, oh, 1970. Okay, and that's all you do is just hit save field and we're going to say add recipient and then you will put your uh, participant name here. So if it's a new client, you're going to put that new client information here. You're putting their email address, their full name, phone number, mailing address, and then uh, if they have a business, you can put additional business info. You don't have to put that in there. And then I also add the last four of the social in the date of birth here. So that way it'll be in my file too. So I'll have it twice, okay? So um, I would say the email address is Johnny Payne one at gmail.com. Full name is uh, Joe Blow. Phone number is 601-777-9311. Mailing address is, what did I say? 115. Uh, okay, and then, like I said, I always put the last four of the social, the last four of the social, and then the date of birth in here. And then you put add. So now it says add signature field. So we're going to add the signature field. Now let's go to review email. Okay. There you go. And we're going to add. So now we're going to go to, and it see it's adding his information and my information. And so we're going to go to next and see it says review email. So this is where it's sending them the actual email. And you can change this out like Everything is done in HoneyBook. I'm telling you, you don't have to go separate ways. Um, automations, everything is done um, in HoneyBook. So this is the email. You can change it out however you want to. You can add whatever you want to. Um, you can review, schedule, and then you can add, like these are email templates that I created. Like this one is the three-day reminder. If they don't respond in three days, it, it reminds them the 30-day 30 30 day follow-up. 
when it's time for me to do uh, my 30 day follow up with them to discuss uh, my progress, uh, what they need to do uh, from there in our next course of action. Um, these are my other services that I have, a five month credit builder coaching. These are pre-built emails that I created that all I have to do is just click on it and it'll send it to them. Uh, after completing onboarding, um, let me show you. So when I click that, it's gonna put that email in here. Hi there, Joe, see, it's pre-built. Thank you for completing the onboarding steps. Here's an outline of what you should expect from us. And they schedule an appointment, they watch the video, um, all of this stuff is amazing. And all you do is now here, if you need wanted to recommend like a vendor or a car dealership, if you want to send an email and you could put vendors in there, like a car dealership, mortgage company, uh, your affiliates. If you have a big affiliates, you can put the affiliates information in there. So you can click uh, recommend vendors and then you put the affiliate information in there. OK, and then you click send. Um, and you send it and it's going to send them all this information for you. Ta -da! No more Zapier, no more uh, Gmail, no more uh, Acuity scheduling. None of all of this is done in HoneyBook. So I'm going to go ahead and click cancel. Um, I'm going to go out of this one. And of course, like I said, to get out, you're going to always hit the arrows back. Um, questionnaires, like if you want to have pre-built questionnaires, um, I have a new client questionnaire where it's ask them questions so I can get to know them better. Um, and what it does, um, you know, full name, best number to reach you, uh, what is your preferred contact, uh, what services are you interested in, and these are like if they come in and doing it, uh, somebody um, go on my website and then um, they click put their information in and say, I want to learn more. So it automatically sends, I have automations built where once they fill out that contact form, it'll automatically send them this questionnaire. And then once they fill out this questionnaire, it'll let me know to uh, contact client because I have their phone number so it'll let me know but what I did was once they fill out this and send it it'll automatically send them another email and say hey thank you I got your information um I would like to schedule an appointment with you so we can talk face to face um so we can you know get to know each other a little bit more better and um that way we can discuss what I have to offer and so they go in and schedule the appointment. The appointment come back to me. Uh, once they schedule the appointment, it's already plugged in in my scheduling. And so um, once they fill this out and send it in, I'm gonna show you where it's gonna go. Um, you're gonna click on tools and scheduling. So once they go ahead and schedule an appointment with me, um, let's see calendar so scheduling these are all the things that i have that they can set up they can schedule the new inquiry discovery call the credit builder coaching session affiliate partner discovery and i can send them links in the email so they can schedule that so you're going to go to your calendar and look i already got some people that schedule sometimes with me look at that and all of this is done in honeybook all of this is done in HoneyBook. So guys, um, I just wanted to show you how cool this is. It's, uh, I mean, I, I, I like it um, because it gets to do everything that I need it to do. And again, I would say reach out to uh, HoneyBook and ask them is, can, you know, can you use this for a, just a credit repair agency if you don't have provide any other services besides credit repair. But I would suggest to maybe offer some type of financial literacy services so you can attach the credit repair to it and just offer the credit repair as a bonus. But then um, there's a total package so they, they just don't get credit repair. They get the whole um, uh, financial management system 
um, where they can become our safe financial literacy system, where they can get the budgeting services, uh, they can learn how to invest and create savings account, investments account, uh, set up, you know, reoccurring payments. You're, you're guiding them through everything, but you offer the credit repair as a free uh, service uh, for signing up for the nine months like I got mine. So we're going to go back out. So we're going to go back to tools and see you here. I have scheduling. Library is where all your documents are stored and your pictures. So when you upload pictures for um, to create your um, templates and things like that, these documents can be attached to your email and they're already there. So I got all of this um, here and saved. So when I get ready to send an email, all I have to do is just hit attachment and it'll, uh, and it'll pull up all of these and then I just select it. Let me show you. Let me pull up a client. So the library is where all your documents and things are stored. Uh, automation, let me show you that. So you know how we have Zapier and we have um, all these other automations where we're paying to, uh, to automate our emails and things like that. You don't have to do this. Now this is $9. I'm paying $9 a month for this and I'm getting all these services, okay? And it's working for me as a CRO, but like I said, I offer other services also. So um, I tie into the credit repair and I offer it for free, but they get everything else. And it's working because I have clients that wanted to do that. They, you know, they want the whole plan. They want to learn how to budget. Most of them want to purchase a house or a car, so they need these services anyway because the bank is going to ask for it. So it's best to go ahead and help them through that so that way it's a total, it's a one-stop shop for you. And they'll pay the price because um, they get all the packages, everything packaged together and they don't have to go here. They don't have to get somebody to help them with their budget. They don't have to get someone to help them with vision board. They get everything in one place. Now, this is my nine month credit repair automation. So when they come in, this is what I send them. So they get the, when they come in and fill out the uh, contact form, which is the start, once they fill out the contact form, they'll get the questionnaire and it asks them questions. Let me get to know you better. And once they um, send that in, then it's going to send them an email and it's going to send, um, um, the email. So I have it set to immediately after first payment. So once they get the questionnaire, it's going to send them the email to uh, set up an appointment with me. Once they set up an appointment with me, we're going to do the discovery call where I do the inquiry uh, call. It's a 15 minute call. And then they say, okay, I want to join. Once they join um, after the call, once they join, then they get this email. And the way it's set up is once they pay in the system, it's automatically set up to immediately after first payment. So once they make that $100 uh, application fee, once they pay that $100 application fee, then they're going to get the new client portal access to where they have to set up their portal. Okay. And I, I, I set this up myself. I didn't need somebody to show me how to do it. Now, I watched uh, the, the HoneyBook videos I did. I watched the Honey, HoneyBook videos on YouTube, the tutorial videos, but I set this up myself. I set this automation up myself. And so um, trial and error, but like I said, it's, it's totally doable. You can do this. Um, and you know, once they get the new client access and then immediately after first, payment is made, they wait for approval, and then send another email, and then they complete their onboarding, uh, um, um, onboarding task. And, and that's just telling them to upload a copy of their driver's license, their uh, a bill, a utility bill, and then what else I got? Uh, 
just like CRC, it's the same thing. Telling them what to do, what they need, you know, the steps that we have in CRC, this email is telling them the same thing. <laughs> and all they have to do is go into their portal or they can upload it to the email and then attach it to their email. They can take a picture with their cell phone, attach it to the email and just send it to me, okay? So that, that's my step, I got them. And then, so the next one is once they get done, immediately after the previous step is completed, immediately after they complete the onboarding information, it's gonna create an audit report and email it to the client. So this is something I got set up to where I have to make, now this one is not automated. I got it set up to where I have to do it. So I would get a notification to tell me that I need to create a, the audit report and email it to the client, okay? So I'll get a reminder and tell me that. Awesome. So then um, once it sends them that, in that email, it tells them to make an appointment with me so we can go ahead and talk about the audit report, okay? You see that send email to remind the client that we need to do this audit report. So then when we get done, I got a task. It says, make sure the client set up appointment to go over audit report. This is two days after they received this email. So if they haven't set up an appointment to view the audit report with me, it's going to automatically, and I got this automatic to where it will automatically send this uh, to the client to remind them, you haven't set an appointment with me. Okay. And then I start my 30-day follow-up. And of course, you can send emails in between that time. You can set up these pluses is where you can add, you know, like if you want to um, add a brochure or you want to do some credit education where you want to talk to them about budgeting, if you want to talk to them about buying a house, uh, if you want to send the flyers um, um, that Desiree had created. Uh, you can send an email and attach the flyers to those um, um, so that way they'll have something in between the 30 days and you can do that. And this one just says send file via email. That means like if you want to attach a brochure, uh, if you want to um, attach a questionnaire, um, if you want to attach an ebook or something like that, you can attach it here and it'll be part of the automation, guys. Um, this is just so amazing. And see how I have all of this set up automatically where it will automatically send. And then at the end, um, I have this set up to where it'll remind me to send the graduation packet to the, to the client once they graduate. So it's one day after the previous step is completed once they graduate. Uh, it reminds me the next day to go ahead and send the graduation packet to the client. Amazing, guys. All of this is in HoneyBook. All of this is in HoneyBook. I'm telling you. Um, I'm going to go back out of this. I have my workshop automation. So for my workshop, it's set up the same way. Um, once they fill out the contact form, it's going to ask them to um, ask them which workshop that they want to uh, sign up for. Once they key in the workshop that they want to sign up for, it'll automatically send them another email to pay for the workshop. And then once they pay for the workshop, it'll send them the Zoom link or um, the workshop or the webinar. It's going to send them the Zoom link to, um, to, to the workshop. And then I have it set up uh, a day before, a reminder a day before to remind them of the date and time of the workshop. And then I have another reminder 15 minutes uh, before the actual workshop stop, starts to remind them to, you know, attend the workshop to log in. Um, so let's go to calendar again. Um, refer and earn. This is your... Like if you want to um, refer, if you want to give this link to friends um, and they want to sign up for HoneyBook, all you do is give them that link. And once they sign up, you get a portion um, 
Let's see, give 20% off, get up to $100. $100. So, and it tells you, here's your link for the referral. And then this is the email that it sends. Um, and you put their email address there. And then this is the email that they get. They get 20% off uh, for one year. Amazing. So we're going to go back. Scheduling tasks. Task is um, to set tasks for you like reminders. This is to remind me to make sure I send an email to my clients to make sure I send some type of educational packet out uh, 15 days after in the middle of the month. Make sure I send this. Make sure I um, go in and look over the client's credit report. Um, you can set tasks for each client. Um, reports. These, just like CRC, they have reports to let you know where you are, how much you're making. I mean, all of this, just like CRC. Uh, payments, what your clients are paying, um, you know, the project um, name, uh, the nine-month credit repair or the coaching session or whatever your project is named, they're called projects. And so it's going to list it here. Um, your expenses, and you can create expenses. You can create those here to let you know, like if you're paying for um, email services, um, I do YouTube. Um, I also do, um, I also have, I have YouTube. I have acuity scheduling. I have um, Adobe. What else? Um, there's a lot of things that I have that I'm going to cancel now because I don't need Adobe because this is uh, the signature. So I don't need Adobe um, because it, it, it inserts the signature on some of my forms, like my coaching forms. I used to have to have Adobe so I can uh, send signatures for them to sign. I don't have to have that now. So I'm going to cancel my Adobe. Uh, I have acuity scheduling. I paid for that for a year. So once that ends, um, I'm not going to uh, renew that. Um, let's see. There was a couple like three things that I was going to counsel because it's all done in here. Um, I don't have to, I don't need those. Profit and loss, man, it's showing you your profit and loss once you enter your expenses, your contact forms. This is um, what you can upload to your website or you can send this. You can actually send the link of the contact form. You can post it on your social media pages like Facebook, um, LinkedIn, um, you can post it in um, Instagram, uh, Twitter, you can post this link um, and that way you don't have to have a Facebook, you don't have to have a, a website. You don't have to have a website to use HoneyBook because everything is pre-built in there. So once they fill this out, it's gonna automatically filter to your HoneyBook portal. It's going to automatically filter them to your HoneyBook portal. Guys, this is so amazing. Um, let's go to Chrome extensions. Um, this is for Google Chrome. If you have Google Chrome and you use Google Chrome, you can add a Chrome extension. And what it does, it keeps up with your clients. Um, emails and things like that and it'll import it to your honeybook <laughs> so if you forget and email a client through your google email it'll import it in honeybook <laughs> it's amazing so you can you can communicate with your google email and it'll automatically come to your honeybook uh, uh communication page to where it'll pull that in and and you know, that way you can see it in HoneyBook too. It's neat. It's really neat. So we're going to go back. I think I went through all of that. Templates, like I said, is going to be your emails. Um, 
invoices, contracts, proposals, questionnaires, brochures. You can you can actually create brochures, but all I did was I put mine in my uh, library of brochures that I already created in Canva. You can download that, those and upload them to your library. So that way you don't have to create brochures. But if you want to, you can. You can. You can create your own brochure through Honeybook. And you can attach the pricing inside of that also. See, pricing and services. Um, you can attach this and then you can send this to the to the client or the person that's inquiring about it. And all they do, if they want to purchase something, they just click on it and it'll automatically create a invoice where they pay. Amazing, amazing. So um, I hope this helps somebody. Packages is your pricing structure. Uh, this is what you charge right here. So I have uh, my webinar workshops, the vision boards, professional development, credit repair. Uh, these are all workshops. And then, like I said, I package my credit repair as a financial game plan package, um, which means that I offer the credit repair for free, but they get everything else. So it's kind of like a bonus <laughs> uh, when you tell them that and they go, ooh, so I get to get my credit fixed for free. Yeah, if you you know do it for nine months, you, you sign up for the nine month uh, basic, and then I have a nine month premium. And then, you know, I do the personal life coaching, speaking engagements, the credit builder coaching, and then the one-on-one -on -one mentorship. These are all the packages that you have. And they're templates, which means that you can upload them to each client's information. You don't have to keep typing this. You don't have to keep typing this. It's already pre-built. And then you can go in and make changes. If you want to change the price, you can make, you can change the price if you want to. Um, like if you want to somebody that you know and go, hey girl, I'll do it for you. You know, I know you're struggling. How about you just pay me $150 and we'll just call it that? You can go in and change the pricing structure. Uh, it, it's not set in stone. And you can change it for each customer, which means um, these templates, you can go in and change it for each customer. So, like I have this one, this is the webinar if they sign up for it. I can go in and change that. If I want to make this free for somebody and say, hey, you know, I'll do it for you for free. And you go in and you change that to zero. And then once you put the client information in there, you can attach that template to that client's information and then send that invoice. I mean, just amazing. Contact forms, uh, we said what that was. And then email. These are all the pre-built emails. And you remember when I told you we went to the workbook and all I did was click on template and it showed these. And, and when you get ready to email the client, these are all the templates that pull up. So all you have to do, if you just wanted to add personal information, you can add that in there and then send the email. So this saves a lot of time. Email signatures, my email signature is already pre-built in there. So all I have to do is just click the little pin and it'll put the signature in there so I don't have to type my signature every time. Um, I'm going to go back to home projects. This is Joe Blow. I just created. So these are all the projects that I created. And when you click on projects, so I have three in planning. These are clients that I already had, so I moved them to planning. So this is the flow. This is the flow that you take the clients through. So um, the first one is inquiry. That means that when they complete the contact form, when they log into or complete that form that you sent out, once they complete that, it's going to put them in inquiry. Then once you put them in inquiry, you have to change it from inquiry to follow-up. Once you do the follow-up, that's the follow-up email that you send them and say, hey, I see that you reached out. Um, schedule a 15-minute uh, uh, 
discovery call with me so I can see how I can best fit your need. Let's get you started. Um, once they follow up with you and complete that, um, um, once they get that email and set the appointment, then we're going to the meeting. That means that once you get into the appointment where they do the discovery call, when they get done with the discovery call, they say, yes, I would like to start. Then you send them the proposal. The proposal is the pricing structure with the agreement. Um, with the agreement, um, the client agreement that they have to sign, they get both of that at the same time. So once they pay, they pay first, and then they sign the client agreement. They don't, they don't sign the client, client agreement before they pay because we don't want them to sign an agreement and not pay us. So they have to, the way it's set up, they have to pay first and then it will push the client agreement to where they have to sign. So once they sign the client agreement, it's gonna automatically push them to proposal sign. When they sign it, then it's going to go to retainer pay because they paid and then they go to planning. Planning is where we get started. We start doing our credit repair. Um, and so they can stay, they're going to stay in planning for me for nine months. The ones that um, go through my nine month plan, that's my credit repair, repair plan. So I have a setup to where they're going to stay in that for nine months. And then once they graduate, it's going to go through completed. And then once I send them the uh, uh, the graduation packet, once they get their certificate, I'm gonna it's gonna go to archive and it's gonna save it and it's gonna push them out of this project workflow. Okay, and and then that's how it works. So, guys, I don't know about you, but I'm sold. Um, I'll post more videos as I go, but I think this will work for. Anybody that's a CRO, you just have to set it up to work for you. And like I said, to keep from paying all that money out, the $179, um, uh, the, what is that? Um, the regulation, the, um, uh, all the other stuff, I, I just went blank. So all those other charges, because I know I was out about a thousand, I was out of over a thousand dollars to try to get my credit repair uh, agency started. And I didn't really have, I, I had to go into my savings to do that. So for those of you that are passionate about what you, you know, doing, starting this credit repair agency and you don't quite have the funds yet, this is a great start for you guys. It's a really great start um, for you to get this started for $9 if it's just you. It's a great start. Even $39, even if it's $39 a month, just imagine $179 to $39. And then Zapier and then Acuity Scheduling or Calendly or whatever scheduling services you got. And then automations, um, whatever automation uh, services you got, um, you know, paying for all this other stuff, you're going to be paying over $500 a month if you just do put all of this stuff separate. So $9 a month, I got the total package. <laughs> yes, it did take me some time. It took me three days to process all, to key all of this in to put what I want to put in there but three days and save you $170. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I, I mean, for those of you that's going, well, I don't know. I, don't, I, I, I don't, I'm not looking back. I'm not looking back. And then, you know, you got to think about, you got to pay for um, this structure, for the banking system, um, they already got the banking system set up. So I don't even, it's kind of like PayPal. <laughs> they charge 3% and then 1.5% per transaction. I'd rather do that than to pay $80, $90 a month. I'd rather do that per transaction because I don't have 80. And sometimes, you know, for you just starting out, you may have zero clients. You may have three clients. 
you don't have that type of money, $179, $85 a month, um, security scheduling, $15 or whatever it is a month. The other stuff, the um, 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 automation, $25 a month. You're going to pay about $350 to about $500 a month with all of this stuff when you can start out right here and you can always transfer your information over to CRC whenever you start booming in business. But uh, for those of you that are just getting started and you strap for cash, I, I feel you. I'm there, okay? <laughs> Until I can build my clientele to where I can afford these services, HoneyBook is where it's gonna be. <laughs> so guys, tell me what you think. Watch the tutorials. I'm not trying to make any money off this. But if you do decide to get HoneyBook, reach out to me. Um, I would like to send you my link so you can get the 20% off. Get the 20% off and um, I'll help guide you through it. If you need help completing this and I'll show you how I did mine, I don't mind, okay? I don't, any, anything I can do to help somebody else, um, that's what we are here for. We are here to um, help lighten the burden for each, everybody else. And so I know I got help and somebody reached out to me and told me about this. So I want to share this for those of you that really need it, okay? Those of you that really need it. Um, those of you that are strapped for cash and you know you don't have the money to keep your business flowing, $9 a month. And you can do everything you need to do for your CRO. The only thing that this system don't have is the import of the credit scores or credit report information. And you can do that yourself. It just takes a little bit of time to get it done, but buy Desiree's template and you can do that yourself. That's it. All right. So let me know. Um, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Let me know, guys, what you think. Uh, my, my glasses, I got a glare. <laughs> Sorry about that. I got a glare. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Um, I think it's a, a go for me. Uh, I'm not turning back. Uh, I am impressed <laughs> with all the services that they have uh, in HoneyBook, and I'm not going back. So peace out, guys. This is your girl, Angela Curry. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. And I'll see you on the other end. <laughs> Bye.